I've got some questions relating to the um, the third assessment. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. I understand that um, for the third assessment, we also have to write a blog as well. That's right. How's it different to the blog that we've written in the second assessment? Now, Dennis, the second assessment, the topics of the blog were given to you. So you had to make a choice. You have to choose which topic you want. However, in the third assessment, you have to go to the graduate profile and pick the topic, and then you need to write blog on that topic of your choice. Mm. Graduate profile. Mm -hmm. What is that? So you have University of Auckland graduate profile and you have Bachelor's of Health Science graduate profile. So you could pick any skill out of any of these graduate profiles and write your third assignment blog on them. Oh, true, true. I briefly remember I had a glance over the, the BHSC graduate profile and our coursework, right? Mm -hmm. That's right. I see, I see. So given that they are different, well, the one that I need to choose for myself with this particular assessment. What about the way that I write these blogs? For this blog, do I, is, it, is it different? Yes. The way you write and attempt this blog is different than your second assignment. So the important thing to remember here is the first key point, once you have chosen the skill which you want to attempt, mm -hmm. then the first step would be to describe that skill. So whatever skill you have chosen from the graduate profile of the university or from the Bachelors of Health Sciences, uh -huh. you need to describe that briefly. Once you have done that description briefly, you need to do the self-assessment, which means you need, to, you need to ask yourself this question, where do, where do I stand on that particular skill? I say. So am, I, am I very competent in this skill or I'm just trying to learn that skill or I'm somewhere in between? And then you need to give us the reason. Why do you think you are where you are? I see. And once you have done that, the last component would be resources, which means what else you could do to improve yourself on that particular skill, exactly like the previous assignment. Yeah, that is quite a little bit similar. Yes, the last the... component was similar. Yeah. So, I mean, I understand, I mean, do you have an acronym for this as well? Because I remember for the previous one, we had an I Raj Love Reading. I That's mean, right. So what you can do is you can create one. So it could be uh, maybe DSR. DSR. What's D they? D stands for describing the sure. skill. S stands for self-assessment and answering why you think you are where you are. Uh -huh. And finally, R would be resource. So it could be DSR. Sure. So let me just repeat myself, so uh -huh. making sure, again, we're on the right track. So D, describing. So I firstly need to describe mm -hmm. about the skill. Exactly. What, what are my thoughts about the skill? Mm -hmm. Then the next one is self-assessment. Exactly. I need to self-assess where I am at with this particular skill. Exactly. And lastly, uh, again, I need to identify resources, how I can improve myself with this particular skill. Am you I right? Got, you got it. That's correct. Thank you. Um, and also, so that's about the blog. Mm -hmm. And I, I noticed for this one, there's also a second component for this assessment, which is I need to write or I need to make a, what's that thing called, career profile video? Mm -hmm. What is that? Now, career profile video is a very interesting assignment. I trust you'll have lots of fun while you do that particular assignment. Okay. So what you need to do in that particular video is you need to make that video. And that video should demonstrate the key knowledge, skills, and abilities which you have gained as a Bachelor of Health Science student doing this particular course. So in that one minute video, you need to demonstrate those skills, knowledge and abilities which you have gained and explain that to the audience through the video. So who are the audience? Well, that audience could be anybody. First of all, that audience is us as the evaluator and imagine this as a sort of um, interview. For example, you could not go to give the interview live, but the potential employers have asked you to submit something, say a one minute video. So that could be a pitch showing them that what you have gained, the knowledge, the skills, and the abilities you have gained as a Bachelor of Health Science student doing Population Health 302 Community Health Placement uh -huh. paper. It's true. So is it, is it like um, I need to make a video that I need to sell myself? You can say that. So I need to make myself look good. Exactly. Ah, I see, I see. Thank you so much.